On April 14th, Canadians will choose one of nine candidates to be the next leader of the Liberal Party. Justin Trudeau, perhaps one of the most recognizable hopefuls, recently made a visit to UBC's Okanagan campus. Over the past few years, it was politics of division and cynicism have become very, very powerful. Something that we've noticed is that a lot of students don't necessarily want to vote because they haven't heard all of the voices of the candidates. And it's really important to uh, see everyone and all of their views, depending on whether they have um, very um, liberal views or whether they don't. Um, and especially with Justin Trudeau, he very much resonates with the youth, mostly because he does have that younger age. And um, he does resonate because he was a teacher here in British Columbia as well. And it's really important to get university students involved as we don't really have the youth coming out to vote. The reality is, Hard-working Canadians trying to provide for themselves, for their retirement and for their kids are finding it harder and harder to get by. The challenges we're facing are so significant that we can't simply rely on the status quo to, to face them now. The fact that our young people are uh, informed, aware of what's going on in the world around them, involved in more campus clubs uh, than ever before, but disconnected from politics is something that is preventing us as, uh, as a country uh, from dealing with the big issues. So for me to start a conversation with young people that gets them involved in thinking about politics, thinking about connecting and being active and engaged, voting but also sharing their ideas and their creativity is what we need to do to generate the political capital that's going to allow us to respond to these challenges. Going into it, I had heard quite a few uh, sort of negative comments about Justin, just concerning his character and his experience, and obviously as the legacy of his father to, to live up to. We need to understand that the challenges we are facing are too big for us to remain in short-term band-aid mode and know that we can rely on Canadians to pull together and generate the solutions and the hard work that we're going to need not just to get through these challenges. As far as coming to the campus and speaking and hoping to uh, boost that voting participation, it's difficult to say if he would make a change by doing that because the people that are going to go and listen to him are people that are likely to vote anyways not just to get through these challenges, but to continue to be an example of success for the world. Thank you very much. It doesn't just give the Liberals a, a part here in the UBCO, but also the Conservatives or the NDP. And I think that, that having an event such as large as this and having Justin Trudeau here has opened students to see the importance of voting and the importance of politics in, in Canada.